Reverse motion is a special effect that's well established in the film industry. This week we're going to explore the technique so you can use it effectively within your next video project. The concept of reverse motion in film has been around for over a hundred years. It's a technique said to be accidentally discovered by pioneer of cinematography Louis Luminaire in 1896. He did so by mistakenly running the projector backwards on his 90 second film Demolition of a Wall. The construction workers on screen are seen tearing down a wall that, by reversing the content, miraculously stands up again. Although the technique was allegedly achieved by accident, at the time it wowed audiences and opened up new creative possibilities in film. In that moment, it was as if humans could manipulate time and make it go backwards. Since then, we see reverse footage incorporated in cinema and television projects all the time as an effect that can be used to enhance the narrative of a story. Some films use reverse motion to the extreme, as we can see here in the Czech film Happy End. The entire film is based on this concept, where shots are played in opposite order and direction to take us through the life events which led to the main character's death at the start of the film. This is an interesting and comical way to demonstrate the passage of time, and you can imagine that used at this scale was a huge undertaking, certainly a fact that needs to be thought out and storyboarded long before you hit record. But as opposed to it driving the entire narrative, reverse motion can be used in other ways, almost subtly within a larger project to help evoke emotion and tell a story. For example, this technique is often used to bring back people and things back to life, like here in the opening credits from the Halloween film franchise. It's a time lapse of a rotting pumpkin simply played in reverse, but you see it creates an eerie, spooky looking scene that looks unnatural. That's perhaps why the effect is used a lot in supernatural and sci-fi films, where the concept of time is being bent and it seems like some sort of magic is taking place. But reversing content can also take audiences out of the present day, depicting the memories our characters are having, or indeed the lack of them. You see, here in The Hunger Games, the central character recalls distressing events from her childhood. Reversing the content gives the piece a dramatic feel, highlighting the extent of her trauma and transports us as the audience into the past. The film Memento, however, uses reverse motion to create a confused and disjointed feel to the lack of memories the protagonist is having as he suffers from severe memory loss. This simple scene reversing the development of a Polaroid picture sets the tone of the film and puts the audience right in his mind, with the viewers not knowing any more information than the central character himself, leaving us feeling unnerved and uncertain. It's clear that reverse motion certainly is a challenging yet creative technique that can be experimented with in many different ways. We've even seen this effect taken to the extreme where artists are flipping it on its head, actually performing actions backwards in order to then reverse the footage to achieve a natural look. For example, the film Days of Heaven uses reverse on-screen motion to create this beautiful scene where it looks like locusts are rising from the plains up towards the sky. In reality, peanut shells were dropped from a helicopter and the actors moved in reverse, creating a natural looking scene when played forward in the edit. Chris Martin of Coldplay also used this technique, learning to sing his entire song The Scientist in reverse before then reversing the content for playback. Another example can be seen in Hip Hop's The Far Side, performing their song and routine backwards for an entire music video, which was then played back in reverse for the final effect. It's a bizarre concept to get your head around, but as you can see, can create these interesting, surreal visuals not seen anywhere else. So how do we actually reverse our content in LumaFusion? Well, there's just three simple steps. Firstly, double tap on the chosen clip on the timeline that you want to reverse. Next, head to the Speed and Reverse Editor, and finally, tap on the reverse toggle here. Note that the duration and compression of your video will affect the time it takes for LumaFusion to work its magic. Once it's done, you can go back and forth instantly. Creating this effect is as simple as that. The real challenge comes when ensuring it's used effectively in your next video project. So just like any other creative technique, just because you can use it doesn't always mean you should. Always make sure you think about your reasons why and the effect it will have on your video scene or storyline as a whole. So have a go with reverse motion, see what effects you can create. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please pop them in the comments below. Or of course, you can bring them to one of our live Zoom workshops. That's all from me, I will see you next week.